It's time for another pop day with Mumbles and Mr. Dancer. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates. Dancer's trying really hard to lick my face right now. But guys, on today's episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates, I'm bringing you five essentials every person needs when purchasing or getting a dog and bringing them home for the first time. So five essential items that you need to have in your home when you bring home a dog, whether it be young or old. So guys, on today's episode of Mumbles for our pop date today, I'm going to tell you five essential things that you're going to need when you get a new dog. So there's some items that you guys need to have in your household when you pick up a dog, whether it be young or old, these are things you're gonna need. And today we're gonna cover them. So let's jump straight into this. Starting with dog food. Guys, you need something for your dog to eat. Gotta eat, it be hungry up in there and you gotta have food for it. Now, in addition to that also, you need to think about dog balls, and you need to think about dog treats because you want to start training them as soon as possible. But you need dog food. Now, if you have a puppy, this could be puppy food. If you don't have specific dog food, you can always go to the old reliable mild chicken and mild rice. I would recommend mild chicken with white rice, obviously boneless. And you can feed that to them if need be in an emergency. But obviously, especially with the puppy, you're gonna to wanna to get them some puppy food so they can get the nutrients that they need. So guys, the second item that you're going to need, and I'm, this is kind of a category, leash slash harness slash collar. You need something in case, you know, God forbid you have to take your dog outside or something, you need to put them on your leash, you don't want them to get away, you need a leash slash collar slash harness so they can't get away from you. These are essential items, your new dog probably isn't gonna recognize, you know, I don't know what's going on, I don't really know this person. So they may be a little skittish. So this is something that is absolutely necessary that you have in your household when you get a dog. So guys, the third thing you're gonna need is a place for your dog to sleep. Now, this can be any variety of things. It could be a dog bed, it could be, you know, a crate, it could be whatever it is that you feel is necessary. However, I will caution you, if no matter where your dog is sleeping, when it's a new dog, do make sure that they're in a place where, you know, they can't be harmed by anything in the room or anything in the place. Or, you know, if you, I don't know, if you put them on your bed or something like that, make sure they can't get down and hurt themselves. You're going to want to just make sure that it is good sleeping arrangements for them. You got to remember they are new to this environment. They don't understand everything that's going on. So again, third tip, have a place for your dog to sleep, whether it be a dog bed or whatever it is, they need a place to sleep. So guys, the fourth thing you're going to need is dog toys slash dog activities. You need something to keep your dog occupied. You know how it is when you as a person get bored. You're bored, you know, oh, maybe I'll try to do this, maybe I'll try to do that. Your dog's the same way. Maybe I'll, oh, maybe I'll chew on that because I don't have anything to chew on. Maybe I'll chew on that bedpost. Maybe I'll chew on this, maybe I'll chew on that. You want something to keep them productive in a positive way. So toys, activities, you need to have those kind of things on hand. Guys, the fifth and final thing you need to have, and this may seem kind of like a do, but you need to have it and some people don't think about it. The fifth thing you need is a safe outdoor area. Guys, if you live in a place that does not have a fenced in yard, you're gonna have to figure out, keep your dog safe in their yard. You can't just leave them out and expect them to come back. So you need to account for the fact of your yard slash outdoor area. It's very important to your dog's safety it's very important to everything that they do, where they do their business, everything. So you need to have a safe spot outdoor where they can use and go. It's that simple. Guys, these are the five essential things you need to have when you get any dog, whether it be young or old. Now, obviously, some dogs require more maintenance and more attention than other dogs. Other dogs will be very laid back. But these five things are a very good baseline of what you're going to need when you get any dog. So these are my recommendations for you. I hope they help. Now I'm going to go get the answer and we're going to finish up our pup dates. So guys, now as with every week, it is time for our pup in play. We get to see the cute little dancer have all sorts of fun. And here he is.
Anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pup Dates. I want to thank you guys all so much for joining me. I hope this helped you guys. And, and Dancer and I want to wish all the dogs and all the humans out there lots and lots of love and fun. And just thank you so much for tuning in each and every week. Guys, this is going to be Mumbles and Dancer signing off. Have a good day, everyone. Say bye-bye, Mr. Dancer. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.